This plate looks at Glenn Beck first, Fox News. This is the right-wing conservative network for all of you right-wing conservative people. CNN would be the left-wing liberal network. And so Glenn Beck, the Mormon, looking at who he is, he's designed to solidify the right-wing movement. And you see G for Glenn Beck. Kind of interesting, His even his logo still on his website has this duality going on. In addition to that, of course, the G, yes, Glenn, the representation of that G in the Masonic Lodge and the illumination around this, yes, he's got a radio show and program, okay, trying to put something together, but understanding quintessentially what he is now. And look at closely what he does. Faith of the Founding Fathers, showing you, telling the Christian right that they can bet for sure that their Founding Fathers were all Christian. The evangelical vote here, now a Mormon and evangelical Christian now going on national television for you, solidifying the right-wing Christian m movement. This is all divide and conquer. They have us 50-50 in this country. And they have us against each other. Look at what they do. Faith, hope, charity, all Freemasons here. George Washington, Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, who cut his Bible up. Faith, hope, charity is a Masonic slogan. Look at this effort for them to go and tell you. We know FDR is a four-time Shriner Luciferian Freemason. Look at this. He is the, was responsible for the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve Act 1913 uh, during his administration and Obama bringing everybody together, whether you're, whether you're Christian or not. Is there any contradiction between this at all? For them, no, because they're all Freemasons. And David Barton, the poster boy for this movement on the right-wing Christian realm that our founding fathers were Freemasons, Wow, what a big piece of nonsense this is. And then his clothing, Bram, you see the square, and you see the skulls. And you see the skull and bones that he wears. Washington, the Freemason, reverence for founding fathers. Give me a break. 1791 was the laying of the foundation stone of the Washington itself. And you see now he's against tyranny. Yeah, right. What this is is secret societies and the elite. Wow. They got us going on their esoteric, exoteric meaning for us, esoteric inside initiate meaning for them. We show you clearly that Mormons are Freemasons. Go look back at the uh, religion plate. Here's the compass itself. This whole brand is based in Freemasonry. Look at the eye that he's showing you, and look how he acts. Are you serious? Do we take these people seriously? Oh, man. It's their television, and you're buying into it. You see that symbology? That is the triangle down. We've seen that before, haven't we? Give me a break. If you're left-wing liberal hating Glenn Beck, it's designed for you to hate Glenn Beck. Yes, we can, Obama. Interesting thing to note, if you reverse this and you record Yes, We Can in one of your iPhone uh, apps that you can actually hear it reverse, that whole campaign is Thank You, Satan re in reverse. Yes, We Can is Thank You, Satan in reverse. Believe it. If you want to believe it, if it's coincidence, whatever, he's shown as Shiva here, God of all things. They play it. The entire design of the Democratic stage when he got elected that year was the Temple of Zeus. Oh my God, here's the convention showing you Dems erect Obama Temple on the New York Post. CERN, which is the collider, atomic collider, destroy. Here's appropriately Shiva the Destroyer. And you can see now Shiva, now this was donated by these dignitaries, uh, I think Persian. 
and then uh, CERN again you can see that the statue and the ca shadow it casts there. God particle is what they're looking for. Appropriately they have Shiva here. Now moving on, here's Apple. Steve Jobs, Buddhist, and his partner, I forget him, but he was into the occult. Steve Jobs passed away 2011. Here's the original Apple, Newton's Apple, yeah, sure. Understanding that the first Apple was sold for $666.66. Bite into an apple or the forbidden fruit. Where did they come from? And here is a Apple II and the connotation of the snake and Adam here. That is the forbidden fruit with a bite out of it. Think different. Naturally, dragon speaking, this is a speech recognition software. Appropriately, the dragon coming back to the New World Order, all the whole world together. You see here the triple six, the colors and the negative. So six, six, and the six in the three colors represented there. Cleverly hidden, and G, uh, Gmail and Google very similar to the Masonic apron. Moving on, if there was a cross at this education nation funded by Rockefeller, here's the star here, the pentagram or the pentagon, and then you have the uh, Prometheus stealing knowledge or wisdom and enlightenment from the gods. That is a religious symbol with astrological signs all the way around this on national tele television for your children and your teachers to be adorned with. Like I said, if there was Christianity represented there, it would be all over with. They would have a fit. But there is a religious symbol of the elite, Prometheus there, a god, now being reverenced on national television. Oh, no problem. Early child initiative you can understand what that eye in the triangle represents religion is infused in society it does not matter we are it is part of our lives we'll never get rid of religion there will always be religion and so understanding that regular playing cards are the lower or lower arcana of tarot cards ace of cups ace of swords ace of wands ace of pentacles they've simply changed the suits you play with tarot cards when you play. Now look at a woman honored for stopping a flasher. This has got to be a joke. And they do this periodically. She is holding a phallus. And so now she's honored for stopping a flasher. She's called a, a shiro. And there you have she's holding the phallus. Very cleverly done.